Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling one of the biggest questions of 2025 for anyone looking to buy a new laptop. Which Emperor MacBook Air should you actually buy? With Apple having officially launched Emperor MacBook Air, the choices are more refined than ever. But still, those crucial decisions about storage and screen size can be tough. Should you go for a super portable 13 inch or expensive 15 inch? And what about storage? Is 256 gigabytes really enough in 2025? Or is 512 gigabytes the absolute minimum? We're diving deep into the questions, looking at performance, everyday use, feature proofing, and of course, your wallet. So stick around, because by the end of this video, you will know exactly which M Pro MacBook Air is perfect for you. The M Pro MacBook Air, what's new and why it matters. First thing first, let's acknowledge the store of the show, the M Pro chip. This isn't just an incremental bump, it's a significant leap forward. Apple has really focused on AI capabilities with the M Pro, and it will peel that responsiveness in Mac with Sequoia, especially with features leveraging Apple intelligence. Performance, the M Pro brings a more powerful CPU and even more capable GPU and a beefed up neural engine. This means snappy app launches, smoother multitasking, and impressive performance for tasks that used to be the domain of more powerful Pro machines. Base RAM. Crucially, Apple has up to the base RAM of the M4 MacBook Air to 16 gigabytes. This is a huge win. Gone are the days of fairly limited by 8 gigabytes in the base model. This alone makes the M4 Air a much more compelling long-term investment. External display support. Another fantastic upgrade for the M4 Air is the ability to support two external displays with the lid open. This is a game changer for many who previously needed a MacBook Pro for pull the stop setup. Improved the webcam. We also get a sharper 12 megapixel center stage camera, which is great for baby calls. Design and battery. While well, the design remains largely unchanged, which is a good thing. It's thin, light, and beautiful. The import chip ensures exceptional battery life, often exceeding Apple's stated 18 hours of web browse or video playback. The 13-inch M4 MacBook Air. Who is it for? Let's kick things up with incredibly popular 13-inch M4 MacBook Air. This is often seen as the default choice and for good reason. Portability. Weighing in at more 1.24 kg and incredibly thin at just 1.13 cm. The 13-inch Air is the epitome of portability. If you consistently on the go, communicating, moving between classes or just love working from your couch, the size is simply unbeatable. It slips into almost any bag effortlessly. Screen size. The 13.6-inch liquid rain display with its 2560x1664 resolution is sharp. 500 nits and color accurate. For general productivity, browse, emails, document creation, watching videos, it's more than enough. It got a fantastic visual experience. Performance. The base 13-inch M4 comes with a 10-core CPU and 8-core GPU with an option for 10-core GPU combined with 16 gigabytes of unified memory as a standard. This machine absolutely applies for FDG tasks, even for light photo editing, casual video editing, and coding. It holds its own remarkably well thanks to the Emperor's efficiency and power. Price. The 13-inch M4 MacBook Air is the end point to the M4 system, making it the most approval option. This is a huge factor for student budget conscious buyers or those who already have a powerful desktop and just need a highly capable portable companion. So who should buy the 13 inch? If you prioritize extreme portability, a great price, any primary tasks involved web browsing, word processing, streaming, light creative work, while you're a student, the 13 inch M4 Air is likely a perfect match. The 15 inch M4 MacBook Air. This model carries a slightly different user, one who values screen real estate above all else. While still wanting the air form factor, screen real estate. Feature here is absolutely the glorious 15.3 inch liquid rain display with a high resolution 2880x 1864. It maintains the same crisp 224 pixels per inch in 13 inch. The extra screen space makes a phenomenal difference for multitasking. You are constantly working with the multiple windows open, large spreadsheets, or doing more involved photo and video editing. The extra space is game changer. It means less crawling, less traveling, and a more immersive experience for media consumption. Watching movies on this thing is a treat. Enhanced audio. The 15 inch model also benefits from a six speaker sound system with force canceling woofers, providing a richer, more impactful audio than the 13 inch four speaker system. For media enthusiasts, this is a noticeable upgrade. Battery life. Despite of the lower screen, the 15 inch 
Emperor Air actually boasts a slightly larger battery, 66.5 watt hours versus 53.8 watt hours. While the screen draws more power, real world test upping shows very similar. Excellent battery longevity across the both models. Performance The 15 inch M4 MacBook Air comes standard with the 10 core GPU version of the M4 chip. This gives a slight edge in graphics intensive tasks right out of the box compared to the best 13 inch, which starts an 8 core GPU. If your workflow involves more demanding creative applications, this is a point to consider. Portability, while still incredibly thin at 1.15 cm, incredibly light and incredibly light and relatively light at 1.51 kg, it's noticeably larger and slightly heavier than the 13 inch. This might take a difference if your backspace is at premium. This might make a difference if your backspace is at a premium or you are literally carrying it around all the day. So the 15 inch M4 Air is for you. If you crop the expensive screen for multitasking or media, appreciate slightly better audio and can tolerate a tiny bit less portability. It's opt-in, the best for most people, option a budget allows. 256GB versus 512GB storage, critical decision. Alright, let's talk storage. This is where many people make a mistake. Unlike RAM, which is now a generous 16GB base, storage is not upgradable after purchase, choose wisely. The 256 gigabytes really in 2025? Well, T56 GB might seem like a decent amount. A significant chunk of that is immediately taken up by the macOS Sequoia itself. System files and pre-installed applications, you will often left with closer to 200 gigabytes usable space out of the box. For some, this is perfectly fine. If you live almost entirely in the cloud, using Google Drive, iCloud, OneDrive for all your documents, photos, and videos, and you primarily stream movies and music rather than downloading them, then 256 gigabytes can work. Pose up 256 gigabytes. More portable can be sufficient if you rely heavily on cloud storage and external drives. Counts of 256 gigabytes fills up very quickly. Downloads. Even just a downloads folder can quickly eat into that space. This can lead to constant storage management headache, needing to delete files and potentially slower performance as SSDs performs based when they have free space. The 512 gigabytes advantage. Here's why the 512 gigabytes is often the sweet spot and are general recommendations for most people in 2025. It doubles your usable space, giving a much more breathing room for apps Modern applications, especially creative suites, can be massive. Local piles, photos, videos, music libraries, documents, offline contents, downloaded movies, podcasts, large email attachments, feature proofing. Your usage habits might change. You might start a new hobby that requires more local storage. Performance notes. There has been discussions about the base 256GB SSDs in previous MacBook Air models being slower due to using pure NAND chips, a single chip versus two but 512 gigabytes plus. While the Emperor's architecture and the SSD controller are highly optimized, benchmarks often still shows the 512 gigabytes and higher configurations having faster read-write speeds. Especially for large files transfers, for most casual users, this difference couldn't be noticeable. This difference won't be noticeable in daily tasks. But if you're picking one moving large files or working with the demanding applications that can strongly read write in storage, the speed difference can matter. Pros of 512 gigabytes. Apple space for most users, better performance for demanding tasks, less storage anxiety, better long-term values. Cons of 512 gigabytes, higher upfront cost. My strong recommendation for most users in 2025 is to go for the 512 gigabytes SSD if your budget allows. It provides a much better long-term experience and avoids potential frustrations down the line. If you absolutely cannot stretch your budget, then 256 gigabytes can work. But be prepared to be diligent with with cloud storage and external drives. RAM is 16 gigabytes enough. While our main topic is screen size and storage, a quick word on the RAM or unified memory as Apple calls it. As I mentioned, the M4 MacBook Air now starts with 16 gigabytes of unified memory. This is fantastic news. Why 16 gigabytes is great for the vast majority of MacBook Air users, students, professionals doing office work, casual bros, streaming, light creative tasks. 16 gigabytes is more than sufficient. You'll be able to multitask smoothly, jump between numerous browser tabs, run multiple applications without slowdowns, and even tackle more demanding tasks like photo editing or full HD video editing with ease. Who needs more? If you are working with very large files, 4K, 8K, 
complex 3D rendering, virtual machines, or heavy-duty audio production with many tracks and plugins, then considering the 24GB or even 32GB upgrade might be worthwhile. However, for the target audience of MacBook Air, 16GB truly is the sweet spot and a major value option for the M4 generation. Final recommendation and conclusion. Set to summarize and give you the final recommendations for which M4 MacBook Air you should buy in 2025. For the budget conscious student or light users, 13 inch M4 MacBook Air, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of SSD. Keep it only if you're truly disciplined with cloud storage, external drives, and don't install many load applications. Be aware of the potential slower SSD speed. The sweet spot for most people are top recommendations 13 inch M4 MacBook Air, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 GB SSD. Why? This configuration offers perfect balance of portability, excellent performance for daily tasks, ample storage for most users, and a great price to value ratio. The, the 512GB SSD ensures better longevity and less storage headache. For the multitasker and media consumer who wants portability, 15 inch M4 MacBook Air. 16 gigabyte of ram 512 gigabytes ssd why you get the fantastic expensive screen for enhanced productivity and immersive media combined with the power of the m4 and comparable storage the 15 inch comes with standard with a 10 core gpu which is a nice bonus for creative pros on a budget who is still a one and air 15 inch m4 macbook air 24 gigabytes of ram 512 gigabytes or 1 tb ssd why if your creative work involves some more demanding tasks but you don't need the full power and cost of macbook pro this setup will give you the screen real estate more memory for complex projects and faster storage ultimately the based M4 MacBook Air for you depends on your specific needs, your workflow, and your budget. But remember, storage is a one-time decision. It's almost always better to err on the side of more storage if you can afford it. I hope this detailed breakdown helps you make an informed decision. Let me know in the comments below which M4 MacBook Air you were learning tours and why. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech contents, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.